Good afternoon, A and T. Good afternoon, Mr. Sato. Guys, today in fitness, we're going to be learning about relay races. Can somebody tell me what a relay race is? Can I get some hands? Can I get some strong hands? I'm going to go with Nala. What is a relay race? A relay race is when you race against each other. When you race against each other. What else? What else? What else? What else is relay races? Kyle. So when you guys do relay races, is there a certain kind of way we're supposed to run? Or are we supposed to run a certain way? Is there a kind of form and posture you're supposed to do when you're running? Is there a kind of form and posture? Cardi. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to run straight. So now when you do run straight, are you supposed to run standing straight up? Or are you supposed to get low and then start running? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to get low and start running, right? So today we're going to be doing relay races, and we're going to watch some about Jesse Owens. So we, I know you guys learned about Jesse yeah. Owens previously. So we're going to be watching some videos on Jesse Owens and his form and his posture. So right now, our learning objective is that scholars will be able to demonstrate locomotive skills through relay races. So you guys today will be able to relay race using the proper form and technique. So far, I do now, I want you guys, we have posters. Does everybody have a post-it? If you do, please raise your hand. If you have a pencil, please raise your hand. So on your post-it, you guys are going to have three minutes. So to do now will be a name and time where you participated in a, in a race. Explain how you felt during the race. So how did you feel during the race? When I say go but not yet, we're going to start. So does everybody understand what we're doing for the do now? Yes. So can I have two people explain it? I'm going to go with Logan. What is the do now, Logan? Okay, okay, that's cool. So what's the do now? What's the, what, what are we doing for the do now? Carrie. What we're doing for the do now is you can do it once or a race, and, we're, and we just stop the race, and then you run. Describe how you would feel about it down on the paper. Way to go, Akira. Way to go, Akira. So I got one more person going to pick us up with what else is to do now. No, what are we doing for the do now? What is the do now? Racing and having fun. Okay. What, so we're going to name a time when you participated in the race and explain how you did during the race. So does everybody understand what we're doing for the do now? Yes. yes. So I'm starting the time. We have three minutes. Go. So we should be starting our do now. If you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. So do not get out your seat without raising your hand. I see some good thoughts. 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 Good job, Courtney. Good job, Bella. Good job, Logan. I see some good talk. Good job, Tyreek. Good job, Jose. Good job, Akira. Good job, Kalir. Good job, Carlos. Good job, Nalan. Good job, Ari. Good job, Darion. I see some great thoughts. I see some great thoughts. I'm going to pick five people to randomly share. So if I tap your head, that means you're going to share with the class. I'm going to pick five people to share with the class. And once you're done, what you do now, you get a strong catch in a big bubble. I'm going to pick the five people that I fit at already. That's going to share out with the class. I 
I see some great thoughts. I see some great thoughts. I see some great responses. I see some great responses. I see some great responses. Good job, Akira. Thank you for being a strong catch. Thank you, Eli. So we have 20 seconds to count. 20 seconds to count, guys. Let's make sure we jot our thoughts down. Don't worry about it. Jot our thoughts down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I should be on me right now. Thank you, Khalil. Thank you, Akira. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Major. Thank you, Tyreek. Thank you, Ari. Thank you, Zarion. Thank you, Juliana. Thank you, Cartier. Thank you guys. So I'm going to pick five people. So the five people I pick is Camille. I pick Akira. So if I pick you, may you please stand up. I pick Ari. I pick Eli. And I pick Zarion. So I want you guys to share your do now. So the question was, name a time where you participated in a race. Explain how you felt, how you felt during the race. So I'm going to go with Camille. So everybody should be tracking the speaker. Send Camille some love. Send Camille some love. So, Kira, how did you feel during the race? Next person. You felt very good. Did you do very good during the race? So, my next person, Eli, how did you feel? Name a time when you participated in the race. Explain how you felt during the race.
want us to pay attention to it. Pay attention to the form, their techniques, the different forms they use to race. Please dismiss Elijah Kennard. So let's make sure we're still paying attention to the video. We're still focusing on the video. So guys, pause. So I'm going to stop the video right here. So what do you notice when they're racing right now? What is one thing that we notice as they're racing right now? Yuliana, what do you notice as they're racing right now? That they're low and they're trying to get ready. What else is something you notice? What else is something else you notice? Tyler, what's something else that we notice? From the video. Okay, that they're getting ready to race. So what's something else that we notice? I know what Juliana said that they're real low. What is something else that you notice? Bella. That they're in the right form. And you notice another thing, if you're watching it, they have lanes. So there are designated lanes where they have to run. So let's say there's a blue lane and there's a purple lane. If I'm in the purple lane and I'm in my form like they are, real low, I got to stay in the purple lane. So every person is entitled to their own lane. So that's where they have to stay at, in their lane. So as they run, they stay in their lane, they're low, swinging those arms, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. So boom, boom, boom. So I want you guys to pay attention to their form and their posture. So just pay attention, guys. I'm going to actually have a turn to talk. That's just the only Pay attention. We're also paying attention to Jesse Owens. Look at his form. Look how low his posture is. And how he springs up. Look how low his posture is. He can run fast. And it all started with his form. Look how low they are when they're running, their form, their posture. It was great technique. Pay attention to their form. He has one knee up and one knee down to the ground, ready to take off in a low form. And each player is entitled to stay in their own lane. I used to watch Jamaica when he goes fast. Jesse Owens, the man himself. So we're going to look at his posture. Uh -huh, he was able to be so successful during relay races. And this is during the Olympics, guys. Look how low his form is. Look how low his posture is. Look how low he gets. He has one knee on the ground and one knee ready to sprint out. Staying in his lane. Focus.
Go. I hear some good conversation. I hear some good conversation. Akira group, I hear a great conversation. Camille's group, I hear a great conversation. Bella's group, I hear a great conversation. Cartier's group, I hear a great conversation. I hear some pretty good conversation. Levitation. 
as he pushed off his left foot because he was real low. So this foot was on the ground, and this foot was ready to race. So once he was going to push off, boom, he goes straight ahead. It's a straight stride. And he stayed in his lane when he did it the whole time, but he was really, really low. So the last person I picked to share. Who's the last person I picked to share? Bella. Oh, Cardiac. Way to go, Cartier. Way to go, Cartier. So guys, we learned about Jesse Owens today, right? We learned about how we're going to use the proper mechanics and techniques to run relay races, right? Yeah. So that was a pretty good lesson. So today what we're going to do, guys, we're going to the cafeteria to practice out our relay skills. So it's going to be, we're going to have boys against girls. Or we're going to mix it up. So we're going to just go against each other. But I got to see, I got to see if we're ready to line up. I have to see if we're ready to transition. So whoever's in the strongest cast with the biggest bubble, I'll line you up first and you'll be picked up first. You'll be the first one to race if you're on a strong cast and big bubble. So as we line up, our expectations in the hallway is to be on zero, catch a big bubble, have my hands outside the whole time. We're not talking to nobody, we're not turning, we're not looking back. So we just have a big bubble, hands outside. Does everybody understand the expectations? Yes! So the first person I'm calling to line up is Bella. Jose, you can line up. Make sure you push your chairs as you line up. Line up in front of the door. Make sure we keep that bubble in our hands outside. Nala, you can line up. Sorry, you can line up. Carlos, you can line up. Kyler, you can line up. Kira, you can line up. Tyreek, Logan, you can come line up. We're not running. We're not running. We're facing forward. We're facing forward. Cardia, you can line up. No, here, you can line up. Juliana, you can line up. You guys line up. So we're in the straight single file line. Camille, you can line up. Ari, you can line up. You can line up. Make sure we push our chairs and we're not running. 